interested in setting up your own online school or teaching business, then you'll really need a basic website that can function as a brochure and a landing page for your marketing campaigns. I've reviewed some of the most common website builders out there and tried my hand at creating some example sites for you to check out. What I'm after is something fast and easy uh, with no HTML or coding experience needed, uh, which is easy to link up to your LearnCube online school. Today we're looking at Squarespace. The sign-up process was pretty easy, they asked you some simple questions, and they had some education-specific options. At the end of it, it suggests some templates which you can browse through, and once you pick your template, uh, you need to create an account, which is easy to do with your Google or Facebook login. First thing you get is a short tutorial pop-up, uh, which just gives you some very basic overview, um, so it doesn't feel annoying, but I also didn't feel lost when entering the editor for the first time. The different blocks and elements you can add are quite intuitive, and I didn't feel limited by the options available. The flow of the site is really nice, and there are some beautiful automatic animations as you scroll. You can check out the mobile view and make any changes there. As always, I really recommend this as fewer and fewer visitors are coming from desktops these days. Unfortunately, there's no free plan, so you need to upgrade in order to publish your site. The pricing plans aren't that bad though, starting at 15 euros per month or 11 if you pay annually. There is a password option, so you can let people preview your site without a paid plan. I've created one for you guys to check out, the link and password in the video description below. If you're starting up as a teacher or are interested in taking your classes to the next level, you can check out our online school light all-in-one solution. Details in the video description. If you've used Squarespace to set up your own school website, I want to hear all about it. What worked, what didn't, what would you recommend? If you have any advice to share, please chime in in the comments. And keep an eye on our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks to help you nurture your online teaching business.